Hi, this is Robert with Pioneer Smokehouses, and today for dinner we are making pork chops on our master built Gravity Feed 1050. So, I am cooking something else on this, so I'm going to put this on with them. Now, normally I would run it at about 275, maybe 280. Um, the other item is uh, cooking at about 300 degrees, so we're going to just go with that. Um, it shouldn't affect it too much. The pork chops do have a lot of fat in them. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now these are shoulder blade chops, bone in, and you can see the bone kind of runs down the center. Um, some of the other pork chops, different types, like a T-bone style, have a bone off to the side. And I'm going to show you right here. And yeah, I'll figure that out one day. But anyway, so you can see that there's a bone running right in here. And then this one here, um, it's a smaller, almost boneless piece here. That's that's nice. I really like the ones that don't have a big bone right in the middle. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and set them up here. This spot here has got my fake burn ends in it, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, do that. That's uh, the video before this one, if you want to check that one out. So, all this stuff, well, the bone on this one is off in the corner there, which shoulder it's a little bit a little buried so you can see there that all that dry rub I put it on there and the dry rub is just my usual suspects so pepper uh, garlic granules not powder and um, then uh, smoked paprika and then a little bit of onion powder I don't usually have uh, granulated onions, sometimes I do, but I don't buy that on a regular basis. But I always buy garlic powder because I use it in a lot of other recipes. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead and set that there for now and uh, let it cook. Everything is going along really good here. Um, the smoker lit right up and, and worked really good today. So I'm going to shut that down and then uh, we'll take a look at that in an hour. All right, so here we go. We are ready to take our pork chops off. I turned them up so I can get a little sear on them and look at them go. Got a little bit of fire coming off and uh, I think I'm just gonna flip this real quick. Get a little on the other side there. Give them a minute here to get a little bit of that uh, flame kissing it just a bit. I dropped the knife on there and it just went right in. So I'm going to see if we can get this in there. And uh, so check that out. You can see the nice little red on the edges there. Oh. That is about perfect. That was a little bite. All right. So a little trick that I do is I take and I put my um, potatoes in the microwave until they're just about done. And then I can throw them out on the grill or I can put them in the oven without uh, having them sit in there for you know, an hour. So it really only takes about three minutes. Do make sure that you poke holes in your potatoes um, or they will explode the microwave. So the grill is on high power, so I set it just under 700 degrees. So I'm gonna let it go for a little bit. Um, real quick, I'm gonna check this. Let's see if I can sit down in there. Yeah, so I wanna um, make an effort to clean the whole grill out and there's not a lot of charcoal left, so probably, I tried to gauge it to the exact amount that I needed. Probably what I have there, even if I tried to shut it down, 
probably most of it would burn up. But we're going to completely empty it out, so I'm just going to let it run until that charcoal completely burns. I really like lighting it with the match light charcoal. I am going to um, start using some uh, lighter lighting blocks, and uh, I'll, uh, on the next video, I'll have those, and I'll link those in there, too, on that. So we're good to go, and uh, for me, it's dinner time. So if you like anything that you've seen here, the links are down below. There's a link to articles on some of my pork dishes, and also you'll find a link to um, potatoes in the smoker and links to all the products, including the smokers. Also, the 560 review is going to be right at the top of the list, which is the next size down from this one. Functions exactly the same way with the exact same burner. Check that review out, and if you're looking for something a little smaller and a little less expensive, that is the model for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.